just sense that we have freshmen and sophomores out there for the first time who are getting punched in the mouth, and they, they got to learn how to respond. You know, um, we have a lot of young guys. You know, Shep wants to come down and bury three, and they're on a you know 8-0 run. Well, that's probably not the best decision, and, and we're going to continue to teach them that. Um, Josh Reeves was a freshman. You know, he, he didn't. He's been playing great, and he had a moment on the road. That's what's going to happen. Um, and we just got to continue to get better and embrace this process. I mean, there was a, there was a lineup out there. We had two sophomores, two freshmen, and one senior. I mean, to be on the road, that's scary. That's some scary stuff. And they're all talented. Don't get me wrong. They're talented, but there's a whole other le level of playing hard that we have to get to. And, and we worked on it yesterday, and we worked on it today. We have to continue to just battle and get better. How do you respond in practice? Um, are you ticked off at them? Are you tough love? I mean, what do you do after a game like that the next couple of days? You know, it, it was more tough love than anything. Um, I'm not mad at them because, it, to me, it, it is a process, and these young kids got to grow up quick. Uh, Peyton Banks is a sophomore who hasn't played significant minutes. Julian Moore is a sophomore who hasn't played. Sig so we got to be a little bit patient with those guys and Josh Reeves to, to help them along and Shep to help them along, even though he started every game. Um, so it was tough love. You know, it was a great film session. We had a great day yesterday. We competed hard. Guys were angry. Guys were disappointed. They were mad. And, and that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see how they would respond. And hopefully we'll respond that way tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Beyond the shooting percentages, <coughs> you got a few in and outs. What did you not like or not see offensively that you guys did? I mean, when they make 17 threes, yeah. Be just about it. Yeah. Well, if you look at the line, it's crazy. 17 threes, 18 turnovers. We, I mean, we turned them over. So that's what I say. Like, I don't feel like they gave up because we had 18 turnovers. So we had to do something hard for the 40 minutes, right? But if they weren't turning over, they were hitting threes. So we were a step slow in certain areas. Um, <laughs> look, we, we just have to continue to fight, continue to get better and to con continue to get these younger guys more significant minutes where they feel more comfortable. What do you show them about Radford? I mean, this is a team that's that obviously beat Georgetown, but has kind of been up and down since then. Really good team, really good guards. Another team with senior guards. Um, Duquesne had senior guards, and they led. And this team has senior guards, and I think that's why they go into Georgetown and, and excel and win, and win that game. Um, they got some speed. They can make threes. They have some length. Um, really surprised to see how tall they were. Um, and, and they're deep, really deep. He's done a really good job down there. Last time he came in, I think three or four years ago, if I'm correct. Yeah, so um, he's done a really nice job of building up that program. And they're about 10 deep, easy. And he keeps bringing them in, and they're all in great shape. And they're going to they're gonna give you mayhem for 40 minutes. So we really got to take care of the ball tomorrow. What game film do you show? We're going to show, we show a scout edit. Um, and that gives them an idea. Uh, Coach Ergo's probably watched every tape, and I'll watch a few tapes myself. Um, of course, I had to watch the Georgetown tape, which I really didn't want to watch. Um, but it just shows you if they're playing and hitting on all cylinders, how good they can be. So you need to see that. Um, but I'll watch some more tape tonight, and, and I feel like I have a good feel already. But again, we got to take care of the basketball. And we got to compete, and we got to play hard. I felt like Duquesne just came out and played hard from the jump. And we didn't make shots. We made shots against DePaul. We played hard. We didn't make shots on the road. So I don't want that to be, uh, I don't want us to be a feel good team. <coughs> and making our mission shots dictates our effort. Can't be.